That was dreadful. <laughs> Again? You tell it all the time. Because the store is legit. Of course. Aunt Asina had been in a cafe. I just saw it with her own eyes. Okay. Or right? If you have all of the hurry, why don't you go to bed, huh? It's great. Tell it. All right. <clears throat> uh, wait, what, what voice did I give him? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you did. Tell it, Nastya. Hush. Me and Stas have never heard it. That's great. That's great. Yeah, that's perfect. It's nice to remember that. It happened a long, long time ago when Auntie Sina was just a girl studying in primary school. It happened. One summer she went to camp, which was far, far away from home. And one of those days, something terrifying happened there. Okay. Someone had stolen all the food from the camp. Everything in it, including breadcrumbs. Uh, is it a bird? <laughs> okay. The principal went out to get the food at the local store at once. It was far, far away from the camp. My children were left with no food for the rest of the day. I mean, if I were, were them, I would just take all the children to, yeah. like, I don't know, to a restaurant or something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Those who had bags of food had to share it with their roommates, but most of them had nothing to eat at all, but they drank more water in order to fill their stomachs. Imagine how big the light from the restroom was. <laughs> yeah, like that was the big concern. Yeah. Having no food for a day, child's play. <laughs> okay, Olia. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what does she eat? I mean, she's on a diet, obviously, doesn't she? Okay. Easier said than done. Don't interrupt her. Keep going, Nastya. And so, Auntie Sina had to go number one, but all the restaurants were occupied. Yep. She headed to number to nearby bushes. After she sat down, she heard a weird noise, like a dog was chewing on a bone. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she sneaked up to the bushes and saw a bird eating something. Auntie Sina, she had so shouting to the girl as the girl turned around, they saw that the girl had. Oh my god, I was so loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There are uh, Maybe she was eating some berries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. That could have been a lot scarier than it was. So, well, yeah. And uh, who stole the food? I don't know. What the scene was never true. She stole it. Nice job, Nasty. Quite a scary tale. Yes. <laughs> Who's that? A hurry. <laughs> <laughs> well, three in a row, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you, do you maybe want me to take like one of the other girls or something? Because I, I think you, you have uh, four to my two. Yeah, so, but I'll, I'll, I'll do this. Okay. <laughs> I am, but I must warn you, this story is so scary that I couldn't sleep for a full month after I heard it. <laughs> what a wimp. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice expression. Why is it always a it's like some kind of 
colored item or something. Okay. Yeah. The black hand. The story uh, is about the black hand. Yes, it's a black hand. It's not racist at all. No. Uh, so I already forgot the voice I gave him. <clears throat> the very same. Precisely. No, I squeeze my hand. Uh. <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> My classmate was there. He saw the black hand, and he he wouldn't lie about that. Oh. Two years ago, my friend David went to camp. Why would he lie? Yeah, like he, you wouldn't make up a white lie to be cool. No, no, no. Yeah. Only the any students from all over the country could be in the camp. Specific. Uh, what? <laughs> Why am I forgetting voices? <clears throat> David? Yes, David Schnippelson. Oh, of course. <laughs> you know him? Yes, of course I know him. <laughs> no! No, wait, no, the other one. No! Why, did, why didn't you go there? I didn't. I didn't want to. Oh, he's scared you wimp bastard. <laughs> Not worth much, I see. What? Uh. So the camp was surrounded by a tall fence. Guard, guards were on watch 24-7. No intruder had a chance to get it's okay. inside. It's very specific camp. Yeah. The adults keep watch outnumbered the children. And all of a sudden, things started going missing in the camp. It was small at first. Badges, candy, pants, and crayons. Crayons. No one cared because it was normal not to return return things among geniuses. Of course. Oh, what? I mean, <laughs> if being a genius means you don't have to be polite or anything. I mean, I mean. Uh, yeah, like normal manners uh, just goes out the window. <laughs> but then money, books, and even clothes were disappearing. Only then they realized that there was a thief or maybe a band of thieves working in the camp. For not only children had been robbed, but adults as well. Oh my god, how yeah. terrifying. Guards had been trying to catch the thieves at first, but once they failed, they called the police. I mean, at least that's not. <laughs> yeah. The police had been staying in the camp for a week, setting up traps, interrogating the staff, but to no avail. <laughs> Meanwhile, Feeling continued. One day, guys from the troop had found a way to reveal the perp. They secretly rigged up a TV camera and set it up in the room. No one else knew it was there. I thought that was a good yeah, to be honest. No. Like, if, if you set up a camera, like, to try and catch who is stealing things, yeah, of course. They should not tell about it. I mean, for one thing, I can't imagine why the police didn't come up with that. Yeah. Know. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Specific. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay. Great plan. They placed the wallet in front of the camera, hid in the next room, and watched the wallet through the TV. Okay. Maybe. They had been waiting for a long time and got tired of keeping watch. He got interrupted and missed the moment when the wallet was stolen. Got interrupted. Yeah. <clears throat> it had been there just a moment ago. The next night they installed a recording room with the camera. On the morning they placed a video game instead of the wallet and got back to their activity. Not a video game, no. No. In the evening, the video game was gone. Oh. The recording they watched showed them a black hand appearing from nowhere, taking the game and vanishing into the air. 
the guy, the guys when I was looking for adults, even one of them to guard the camera. But once the police came back, along with the guys, the recording was gone. The camera was broken, and the boy was dead. So basically, it was the guard. Yeah. <laughs> With black fingerprints all over his neck. The police didn't believe the boys, suspecting them as murderers. <laughs> okay. The boys were arrested and driven to separate rooms. But the next morning, they were found dead. <laughs> Wait. With black fingerprints on their necks as well. The entire police department had been assembled in the camp. What? The parents what? were taking the children back home yeah. while the kids who stayed tried not to be alone. Why? Like, why did they stay? The... Yeah, why? Why did they stay? For the parents like, nah, yeah. might lose our kids, who I mean, cares? I'm a genius, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that I need to take up responsibility and take my child back, you know, like, you know. Yeah, they should know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what, what crappy parents and what stupid kids to say. <laughs> the ceiling didn't stop. No surprise. No. no, it was furniture, chairs, shelves, <laughs> even coaches. Like, very, why is it so a shelf? I mean, it, they, the black hand has a house, you know. That needs to <laughs> he didn't truly really refurbish the house. <laughs> Didn't want to go down to a care. I don't know. <laughs> it was too, too much trouble it's, to go to it's Ikea. It's furniture. The black cat had gone mad and it was stealing <laughs> everything. Mad. When a girl went missing, the three of her friends from a chemist club set up to take their revenge on the black cat. Okay. Maybe he needed a wife. <laughs> <laughs> He needed new furniture, but he didn't want to go to IKEA, and he needed a wife, no. but he didn't want to go out into I, the world I, and get, I, get the wife. The next line is just the heck. I mean, the police yeah. are the police are still there, aren't they? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> oh, the oh, these children! Oh, they, they're so cute. They're just building a bomb. Oh, and they're geniuses, so <laughs> yes. of course they can build a bomb. Of course, they just need some some water and a stick and a glue. Yeah. <laughs> They built a bomb, planted it in a drawer, and asked David to install a detonator that would trigger as the drawer drawer opened. Yeah. There was nothing to it, to it. All I had to do was... Whatever. What was next? <laughs> in a couple of days, they heard an underground explo explosion somewhere around the camp. Underground? Okay. Uh-huh. Excavators had been brought. They dug a and found an abandoned bomb shelter stuffed with the stolen things. And in the middle of the explosion, they found a piece of some equipment and a boy's body torn apart with the explosion. Identification was hardly possible. His pants were black with paint. That does not look black. It's not green. It looks, dark green. It doesn't even look like a boy's hand to begin with. Yeah, it looks like a man's hand. It looks like, like an orc's hand. It's like <laughs> it was an orc. <laughs> uh. The body parts were taken away by the military, as well as the equipment. They promised that no one would ever tell a thing. What? My cats are bad! The black cat took them! Ah, uh. oh, relax, Nastya. You hate them yourself while you were listening. I didn't see that coming! No. Boy, are you now noisy. Fine, fine, now we're going to listen to... Hold on, it's Holly's turn now! Yes, the girl, <laughs> the girl I have, don't have a proper voice for. <laughs> How come? Uh, uh, <laughs> really? Ah. So slightly, slightly more higher, like lower pitch than the other one, Sasha. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> because we don't have any more candy. Does it have something to do with the candy? No. Oh, it's 
Ignorance is bliss. Begin, Nolia.